What's going on guys? So if you click this video, it means that you're interested in a simple cinematic color grade to your log footage and especially 8-bit footage. So I recently went to, on a trip up to Portugal with my wife and I shot some 8-bit log footage on my Fujifilm XS10. Now 8-bit footage, as you all know, is a little bit more prone to break and to cave into different LUTs and color grades and everything, especially if you're working in DaVinci Resolve and you're using nodes. Um, so I was kind of skeptical on using the uh, log footage. So I also shot every clip that I shot in Portugal in a film simulation, but I eventually ended up using the log footage because it was pretty easy to grade and it held up pretty well in my opinion. Now it's a super simple grade for you guys. It's just using a lot that's inside of DaVinci Resolve and a couple of other plugins, but nothing too major. It's super simple and it will get you a great looking image in a couple of minutes. So let's dive right in. So if we hop into our editor, which is DaVinci Resolve, I have my clips here that I shot. So with my different color grades, it's all the same, but it's kind of a, a different structure. But this is a clip that I wanted to show you guys. So this is the clip on the thumbnail as well. So if we take everything off, as you can see, it's a simple flat log image. Now, what I did first, so what I usually do is I create the correction node, the first node, but I don't really touch it until after the next nodes that I do. If there is tweaking to be made, then I will do it after, but I have the node already made. So that's your correction node. Then I went to my CST, so the color space transform. So I imported my Fujifilm F-Log footage in Rec 2020 and I outputted it to Cineon Film Log. Now that's the output gamma that the codec LUTs need in your software. So not a lot of people know that or not enough people know that, but you would add your LUT or a Rec 709 and then you would add your LUT, it wouldn't look great. So basically CST and the LUT. So if you go to my LUTs, that's basically what I used. I used the codec, uh, the D55. That's the LUT that I used. So just straight up opacity or the gain here is 100%. So that's how you apply the film LUTs of DaVinci Resolve. So a CST to Cineo Film Log and then your codec LUT. The next node is a glow node. As you can see, super simple. You can see it in the beach a little bit. As you can see that it lights up. Um, I just adjusted the spread and the strength or, or the gain. That's the only thing I uh, that I did, but not a lot happening there, but it just gives it that extra touch. Then halation, I added the, uh, I adjusted the threshold. I lowered it, I lowered the strength and I lowered the spread. If you take a look at the spread, if you would increase it, it would just look horrible. So I just left it at, I think, around 250 or 220. The strength was at 500. I lowered that as well. If you, you can see what it does to your image. So that's way too much. So again, around 300 is a sweet spot. Now, after all those nodes, I thought that my footage was a little bit too flat, not a lot. Um, so I added a little bit of saturation in my last node, but it's literally at 55. So standard is 50 and I bumped it up to 55, which is not a huge difference, but you can see it in, in, in the sea, in the beach. The beach is a little bit more orange. The rocks are a little bit more deep. So that's basically what I did. Now in the beginning when I was color grading, I would have pushed this to like 65, which is kind of okay, I guess. But yeah, I learned to dial it down a bit. So starting out in color grading, usually my tip is if you think it looks good, you know, with LUTs and everything, dial it back a little bit and then you probably have a nice result. So that's that's what I would, I would say and I would suggest if you're starting out and, and experimenting with LUTs and everything, Lots are great, but you have to apply them in the right way. And in DaVinci, this is the right way to, to cover it, to transform it to um, Cineon Log, and then use the codec LUTs that are built in. If you would put a LUT on top of the Rec. 709, 
you would have to go to this tab here to the opacity or to the gain here and dial it back you know you can dial it back to whatever you want um, but those LUTs on top of a Rec. 709 are not made to be used at 100%. In this method, with the color space transform and then the codec LUT built in, it's 100% the right way to use it at full strength as you, as you see that it just looks great. Just the CST, even with my corrections off, you use the CST and then the LUT, boom. It's almost your entire grade. Now the correction note, uh, forgot to tell you that one. I just bumped the shadows a little bit. I thought they were a little too dark here in the rocks and the bushes or the kind of like grass things on top of the rocks. They were a little bit too hard for me so I bumped them up a little bit. Not a lot. Uh, if I go to my log wheels here, 0 0.3. That's all I did. So not a lot but it just makes the difference when everything comes together and you would take the correction off that's a little bit too hard for me and it doesn't really fit with the vibe of the clip which is you know nice colors and and laid back and kind of a little bit of a washed out look but this is a little bit too contrasty for me so i bumped up the shadows it's really subtle but it just makes it pop that much more so if we take a look at our clips as well i use the same grade on every clip so if you take a look here, this is our log, color space transform, our LUT, basically our whole look, halation, or glow, halation. This is maybe a little bit too much, but you know, why not? And then a little bit of saturation in the end, or maybe no saturation in this clip. I don't think I, that I added saturation here, but that's basically everything that I did on all my clips. This clip as well, this clip as well. Yeah, that's the grade I used. So everything is completely available in DaVinci and you could create this, this look in, in minutes. So um, yeah, I thought it came out great and it's a simple cinematic color grade for you guys shooting log footage, especially 8-bit footage. So this is how I made that video that I will link up above, um, that little travel video that I did of our trip to Portugal. So um, yeah, thanks again guys for um, supporting me on the channel. I've been getting some likes, some, uh, some subscribers, some views. So yeah, I'm, I'm very dedicated to keep this going and keep this growing. So um, yeah, thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.